This video will show a brief overview of searching the Merlot.org website for open source materials educators could use to enhance student learning in their classroom. So first we are going to locate Merlot.org by opening up an internet browser, in my case I open Safari, and typing in Merlot.org. Then we are going to perform a basic search. So there's all these different search engines here, but I'm going to put in a basic search for math assessments over here. You can refine your search by going over here and clicking on all these different tabs. It might take a little bit of time to load. So in my case I'm just going to refine it to math and stats. and then specifically just math. All right, so instead of, I think the original was like 68 sources, now we're down to 26. So let's look at this first topic here, IXL. So IXL, this gives you the description about the website. The material type is that it's an assessment tool. The quality of it is over here, so peer reviews, pretty good. User rating, pretty good. Discussions, you can find down here how people felt about the website. Um, so let's go to the material. So IXL is a web-based educational tool that ma makes practicing math individualized, fun, and easy. Students can take on challenges that help them master the skills necessary to perform up to their state standards. With unlimited math problems and over a thousand topics, students never run out of practice. IXL also offers a powerful report component that teachers and parents can use to monitor student progress closely. So this is the IXL website. I'm already logged in actually as one of my students. But if I was an Algebra 1 student studying math, I would go over to this tab here, go down to where it says Algebra 1 skills, and see all of the 305 skills that they do have. So these are all different topics. When you highlight, you know, the, an example of that topic will come up to see if that's more of what you're looking for to practice. If I wanted to practice GCF of monomials, I would click on something like that. And I'll just show you briefly how it works. So I've already answered five questions, but I'll just show you how it works. So greatest common factor would be. So if you get it right, obviously this goes up. This is your total time spent on this topic. And then this is your SMART score. As you get the questions right, your score goes up, and then as you get the questions wrong, so if I just got it wrong on purpose, you'll see your SMART score goes down. This is an explanation, so what you did answer. This is notes on Grace Common Factor and what that entails. And then this is a step-by-step -step solution on how to solve this specific problem, which is really neat when you don't have a tutor or teacher available you can learn from your mistakes and use this automatic feedback. Um, so that's pretty much how to use it. You can also go to recommendations and the website generates skills recommended just for you so based on what you already practice it'll compute um, new skills for you to work on. So based on this student's performance, these are new skills for them to practice on. So that's pretty neat tab. As far as diagnostics tab, that is also a way for each student to have differentiated um, practice exercises to meet their own needs. So they would answer these questions here. So they would answer the question. If they get it right, then 
they wouldn't have to practice so much on the topic, but if they didn't know it or got it wrong, they would go here and then the website will make sure that you learn it later and then they will have a recommendation skill for you. So that's cool because it different instruction for all students. Analytics is the tab in which IXL tracks student data, analyzing performance and providing educators with necessary insights. So this is where the educator can collect, analyze, and interpret results to improve student learning. With IXL Analytics, educators can easily identify hurdles and pinpoint where help is needed to guide individual students and entire classes to excel. So I will go through this briefly. You know, the student in the last 30 days answered 19 questions, spent nine minutes practicing, make progress in seven skills. It'll show you its practice, their practice day by day, practice by the specific category, um, specifically the questions that they got and the answers that they performed as well. So it really gives you a detailed explanation of their progress, which is nice. It has trouble spots, so if they were having trouble in a certain area, um, the website generates it and shows what area they have trouble in, their scores, so as far as Algebra 2, um, their performance this year, how much they received mastery, excellence, practice, and no practice. Um, this is all the different skill levels and their scores. So you can go through that and analyze each student's progress. Question logs just gives you the questions that the students did an answer, which they answered correctly, and which they did not and the answer that they did choose to see where they're going wrong and then overall their progress. So we just did greatest common factor, we spent less than a minute on it, answered four questions and then the score improvement. So it really breaks it down topic by topic and time spent questions and improvement. The student can also receive awards for intrinsic motivation, which is nice because it's more of like a game-based learning system. So they can get prizes. If they wanted to click the question mark, they can practice more and it'll give them a skill to work on. So let's go back to algebra one. As far as the Common Core State Standards, you can see how it aligns to each New York state standards. Right now we're in sixth grade math standards, but if we wanted to go to high, high school, we would click that tab. And then the black is the standard it needs, and then the green is the uh, practice exercises you can perform within each standard. So it definitely meets the Common Core state standards. As far as the STE standards for students, ISL meets the standard 1C, which is right here, because the students are using the IXL application, specifically the practice exercises, to seek feedback that informs and improves their practice, which demonstrates their learning in a variety of different ways. It meets standard 3D, which is here because students are building knowledge by actively exploring real world problems. So, some of the problems that the website generates have to do with real world problems which is good for the students to make that connection of how that topic is used in the world around them. And then lastly 5C because the students break problems into component parts, extract key information, and problem solve. So they're basically just computing um, answers to the practice problems that the website gives them. Um, as far as diverse learners, IXL has an unlimited amount of interactive questions in over 6,000 skills across four subjects. Students truly understand the skills they have mastered because they'll never get a medal just by guessing or memorizing answers. 
as a student practices a skill, the difficult levy level adapts to his or her grasp of the concept to ensure the student is being challenged at the appropriate level. So as you see and when you're going through the exercises, in the beginning they tend to be a little bit easier, but as you go on they get a little bit more challenging to make sure that they are challenging you and pushing you to receive the proper information and understanding. Um, the website generates skills and recommendations for each individual student based on their performance. So like I said before in the analytics and diagnostics section, um, therefore IXL meets the needs of diverse learners by differentiating its practice exercises to each individual student. Um, some techniques you can use in the classroom are for a homework grade, a participation grade, a percentage of the student's final grade for test review and it's a great website to increase student motivation because of its awards and automatic feedback. So overall IXL is a great resource for students to practice and study mathematics for all different types of grade levels and not only for math but language arts, science, social studies as well.